Are things too good to be great? Hi, I'm Dr. Zana with 5 Minute Fuel, which is in 5 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. The very subtle thing that prevents us from reaching greatness and excellence in our life or sometimes things are just too good, right? Hey, things are good. I got a good job, I got the wife, I got some kids, they're pretty, they're okay, they're pretty decent, they're good enough. Um, I'm not as healthy as I could be, but I'm not like that person over there, so I guess I'm good enough. Uh, my, fans, my finances are okay. Hey, listen, there's people that are starving in the world, so I'm doing really good. Um, you know, on and on, you start to just kind of be in this, this gray, things are good enough. But when things are good enough, that's absolutely the one thing, or, the, or, or things are civilized, that it actually is the enemy of becoming great. Uh, back to stories again. I love this story right here. I was watching Rocky Three, So Rocky Three, huge Rocky fan. And this is in Rocky Three. You don't have to watch it. Well, watch the movie. I mean, duh. But Rocky III was this. So Rocky came from just the underdog, just working hard, Eye of the Tiger. Now in Rocky III, he's the champion. He's at the top. He's got the mansion. He's got the Japanese suits. He's got the, the Lamborghinis and all this stuff. So things are good, right? And then his trainer, Mick, he says, listen, he goes, you know the problem with you champions? He goes, you become civilized. See, things are too good to become great. You lose the fight, you lose the eye of the tiger, you lose the hunger. So when things get good, it's what I call the fat cat syndrome. Things are good, but they're not great. So we start to settle, mediocre marriage, it's okay, kids, okay, my health, I'll just take what I could get. And so we start comparing ourselves with people that are way worse to make ourselves or justify ourselves from not becoming great. So what in your life, you would say, yo, things are good, but you know they could be great. And I'm asking, I'm imploring you to go say, listen, wow, I'm good in this area and being good in this area or comfortable in this area is actually the enemy of me becoming great in that area and in my life. Listen, I only want greatness for you guys. That's why we're doing these five minute fuels. It's a fuel your mind, your body, and your future. And a good life is good and you could be grateful for that. But I want you to know that, hey, things are good, but I'm in the pursuit of greatness. Because as, as you pursue greatness, your entire life enhances. It gets better. Um, and virtues come there, uh, characteristic traits, values start to develop, a stronger relationship in your family, a stronger relationship with your, with your kids, your job, your skills. And you can live a life because, we, you know, because that, that short time we have on this planet, you just don't want to live a good, okay life that you just kind of just cruised and got by. You want to be able to look back with zero regret and know you went for greatness. Have an amazing day. Please check us out on social. Please comment below. Also share with all your friends and family. Go to IamHero.com. If you haven't registered, I have something, a free gift for you over there. Please enjoy it. It's going to take it to a new level. And thanks for watching 5 Minute Fuel, which is in 5 minutes a day. Well, for your mind, your body, and your future.